Hey, what's up guys? It's Jake and today I want to show you how quick and easy it is to create an affiliate product review blog post in WordPress with my new Start Blogging Blocks product. Start Blogging Blocks is a set of wireframe blocks built specifically for affiliate bloggers so you can create blog posts and landing pages that sell. It's built directly on Cadence Cloud and uses Cadence Blocks so that you can import sections into your website with one click and it's going to inherit all of your global colors and typography. And when you use Cadence Cloud and Cadence Blocks in conjunction, it allows you to build landing pages and affiliate blog posts in record time. In fact, I'm gonna show you how to create an affiliate blog post much faster than you have in the past and best of all, it's going to look amazing and it's going to make you more money. This is because our blocks are conversion focused and look a lot better than other affiliate sites out there, which means that your users are going to click more and buy more, making you more affiliate commissions and product sales. So if you're someone like me who has struggled in the past with creating affiliate blog posts because all you have is just a blank white background with black text and you don't have any sort of color or conversion focused items, this is going to be a solution that I think you're going to love because it is going to supercharge your affiliate sales. And if you do want to give this a shot, we have a completely free version. It has over 20 wireframe blocks already for you. And so you can just head over to startbloggingblocks.com and you can fill in your name and details here and you'll get a free license key sent instantly to you. And so you can try this 100% for free. So without further ado, let's get started. And so here I have a website. I just imported it in using the Cadence Starter Templates plugin. It's a beautiful travel blog starter template that they have. And so I imported this in and I'm just gonna go in and show you how to create an affiliate blog post through this website. So I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna to go to posts and I'm gonna click add new. And so here we have the start of our product review blog post. And so say that you want to write a product review for a travel backpack. That's one of your favorites. Maybe you've been using it for several months and you wanna write a product review for it and try to get some commissions for recommending it to others. So let's just give this post a title. We're gonna call it ABC Travel Backpack Review. And then we're gonna click down here and get started. So the first thing to note is that when you install the free Cadence Blocks plugin, you'll get this Cadence Design Library tab up here. And when you purchase Start Blogging Blocks, you'll be able to just go in right here to the Cloud Connect. You'll have your license key sent to you in your email, and you'll be able to enter in the connection URL to connect up to our cloud, and then your license key, and then you just click Add Connection. And when you do that, a brand new tab is going to appear called Start Blogging Blocks. And so this is Start Blogging Blocks. And you can scroll through here and you can see all of the pre-designed sections that we have made already. There are tons of things in here for writing blog posts and for creating landing pages. In fact, we have alerts, we have pros and cons blocks, we have product boxes, we have pricing tables, and then we have other categories for building landing pages. So we have things like hero sections or content sections and all sorts of things like that. So the very first thing that I wanna do for this product review is I want to add a table of contents. And so I'm gonna go up to the design library here, I'm gonna choose table of contents, and then I'm gonna choose this one. And as you can see, that comes in with our design and it automatically inherits your global colors. And so this is going to perfectly match your brand right off the bat. And so the next thing we wanna do is we want to have an outline written for our product review blog post. And we actually have some product review outlines that we're working on and we have one in here already. And so I'm gonna to go to the design library here. I'm gonna scroll down to the content section and you can see if I scroll down here, you can see that I have product review outline one and we're gonna be adding a lot more of these, but let's add this here. And when you add this, this goes and it automatically adds a beautiful outline for you for a product review. And so it has, you know, your overview, your pros and cons. It says, what is your product name? You know, what benefits does the product provide? We have product pricing, alternatives, an FAQ section, and then a conclusion at the end. And so this helps you so that you don't have to just go in and add all of these headings and paragraphs for you already. We have the structure here. And then the best part is that when you scroll up to the top, 
you can see that the table of contents dynamically was read in. And so any heading that you add to this blog post, it's going to automatically read this in. And so that's one of my favorite things about the cadence table of contents block is that it's so powerful and it reads in all of your headings for you. So one thing I just wanna note really quick is that if you come up here to the design library and you add any of these blocks, so I'm just gonna add a call to action block here, it will automatically go and add it to the end after all of your blocks here. And sometimes you might want that. So if you're building a landing page, you might wanna build section by section sequentially, but we already have our blog post outline added and so we don't necessarily want all of the blocks to get added to the end here. And so I'm actually just going to delete this and I'll show you a little trick that makes building blog posts and landing pages so much faster with start blogging blocks. So the first section here that we're going to tackle is the product review overview. And obviously you can just swap out this product with the product name of the item that you're reviewing, but we're actually just gonna delete this text here. And the little trick I wanted to show you is if you do a slash row and add the cadence row layout here, there's a design library button here directly within the role layout. And when you go through the design library here, this will actually add whatever section or block it is that you're adding directly where your cursor is. And so this allows you to really quickly be able to insert in different blocks and sections wherever you want. So I'm just gonna choose this design library button here and we're going to go to the product boxes because we want to show a quick overview of the product. So I'm gonna choose product boxes and I'm gonna add this first one here, which is a free design that we have. And you can see that that instantly imports in and it automatically inherits our global colors. And so this button looks amazing right off the bat and the borders and everything all match your site perfectly. And so you can tweak this however you want. If you don't want this to say our pick, maybe you just want it to say first pick or whatever you want it to say. And maybe this isn't an item that's even on Amazon. So we can just come in here and we'll just double click here and we'll just say buy now. And I'm obviously not gonna go through and fill all this out, but you could put in your product title and then you can just swap the image out here or you can insert in a code using custom HTML block for your Amazon image and that just will load up perfectly. So now that you have a quick product overview for your product, using one of our product box designs, the next thing we're gonna tackle are the product pros and cons. And we actually have a number of designs for this that have headings in there already. And so I'm actually just gonna come in here and I'm just gonna delete these two. And we're gonna come in here and enter down and I'm going to type a slash row again. And we're gonna add a row layout and we're going to choose the design library button here again so that the block gets added right where our cursor is. So I'll choose design library I'll go to the pros and cons blocks, and then let's just add this one here. And so you can see that inserted in perfectly right underneath our product review. It has product pros, product cons, and it has our global background color already in there, so it looks fantastic. And then all you have to do is just fill in your pros and cons for your product. And so I'm not gonna actually go through all these, but perhaps this backpack has lots of room for storage. And you could go through here and you could fill out all your pros and all your cons. And you can see at the top here that we still have the pros and cons headings that filled in directly from this block because they're using H2 headings. So let's just preview this quick and see how it looks so far. So here we have our blog post. You can see the header up here looks fantastic. And this was just imported in using the Cadence starter template that I mentioned earlier. And then you can see that we have our name, the ABC Travel Backpack Review. We have our table of contents at the top, which looks amazing. This collapses or it expands depending on what the user wants to do. And then you can see as we scroll down, we have the product review overview. We have a really quick overview to show our users with a buy now button. So anyone that is just skimming through the product can get a really quick glimpse of your product and purchase it. And then as we scroll down a little more, we have our product pros and product cons that you would fill in. And we jump right into explaining all about the product. So this is an amazing start to our affiliate blog posts already. You can see that we have added a table of contents, an entire outline, and then a product review overview and a pros and cons block all within a minute or two. And so this is the part here where you'd start filling in your content. You know, you'd write and say, what is this product name? What benefits does this provide? And so now we'll jump down and we are at the product pricing section. And so you could just take a screenshot of the pricing. You could just write a few paragraphs about the pricing. Or if you wanted, you may want to add a pricing table to this section. And so I'm just gonna delete this text 
and we're gonna use our little trick. So the slash row, choose the cadence row layout, click the design library button from here, and then we will go down to pricing table and I'm just gonna add this two column pricing table here. And so you can see that this imports in, it looks great. And so maybe you want to just repurpose this and perhaps this is your ABC backpack, for example. And then maybe there's a more premium version of this product that you could go and you could promote it here and you could add links to buy now for either of these products and then fill in the product details here so that users can get a feel for the basic and the premium version or whatever it is that you're comparing. The very next section is product alternatives. And you obviously don't have to do all of these sections if you don't want, but I will fill this in here. And so I'll show you a really cool block that we've built for this. We'll do a slash row and we'll add a block here and we'll go down to product boxes again. And I'm gonna choose this one here. And so you can see this one adds, and this is a really beautiful three column product table. And so you can see we have best choice, best value and premium, but you can come in here and you can change any of these tags and all of the details that you want. But this would be a perfect block to use for product alternatives because here you'd be able to, you know, write backpack number one, and then you might have backpack number two, and then finally backpack number three. You know, you'd be able to explain that this product is perfect for this, but maybe there's a more premium product available if they're willing to spend more, or maybe there's a cheaper alternative that you could recommend as well. And so we'll just preview this one more time quick and just see where we're at. So we have the review, the table of contents, the overview, the product pros and cons, and then you'd write about the product name and the benefits that it provides. And then we have the product pricing here with our pricing table that we added, or it could just be a screenshot, whatever you decide to do. And then you scroll down and we have our product alternatives here for the best choice, the best value, and our premium option. And so the very last section that I'm gonna show you here are frequently asked questions. And so let's head back to the editor here. We'll get rid of this. We'll add a new section here, choose the design library, and we'll go down to FAQ. And I'll just choose this one here. And this template is actually built for a full width page, but that's okay. That's the power of these blocks and the fact that they're built on cadence blocks functionality is that we can go in and we can tweak all of the settings to whatever we want. And so I'm actually gonna go into the structure settings. We're at the top level roll layout here and I'll go into the structure settings and I don't actually want to make this max width because this isn't for a full width layout. And so we'll remove that. And so that expands it out to fill in the space for our blog posts. And then we actually already have a heading here. So I'm just gonna take this heading and this one here, and I'm just gonna remove these blocks. And then you can see that we have padding on the roll layout here. So I'm gonna click up here. We're on the top level roll layout here. And I'll go to the padding and margin and we'll just zero out the top and bottom here. And let's just preview this and see how this looks. So we'll scroll down to the FAQ section and you can see that this now looks amazing. We have removed the heading from the template and we just have our FAQs that came in from the product review outline from earlier. And the user can come in here and they can choose any of these frequently asked questions and Google should be able to pick these up and show them in Google results, which is amazing. And so this is looking really, really good. And then the last section we have here is just the conclusion. And so that's all there is to it. We just really quickly created the entire outline and structure for an affiliate product review blog post. And it has the table of contents, it has the overview, pros and cons, your content here. And then it talks about the product pricing, product alternatives, frequently asked questions, and then conclusion. The very last thing I wanted to mention is that we are going to be building out this library and we're going to be adding a ton of different designs to the library. In fact, we are just getting started. We're really going to be hammering on the affiliate specific blocks so that building affiliate blog posts like this will be super, super simple, and you're gonna have a ton of designs to choose from, and we're actually going to be adding entire new collections of blocks, which are entire groups of blocks, to start blogging blocks, and so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and a comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next one.